Hey Math Giggling students, I am here again, Teacher Jung, for another fun and exciting math time. I want you to bring out your pen, your paper, and of course, your Mathematics Grade 7, Quarter 4, Module 2. And here are the objectives of our lesson. First, is to gather statistical data. And second, organizes data in a frequency distribution table. Let us now define what is data. Data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations, or even just descriptions of things. We have two types of data. First is the quantitative data, and second is the qualitative data. When we say quantitative data, it deals with numbers and things you can measure objectively. It is a number that's something you can count. The examples are the height of a tree, the width of a door, the room temperature, and even the number of COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. Second is the qualitative data. Qualitative data defined as the data that approximates and characterizes. It can be observed and recorded. This type of data is non-numerical in nature and it also collected through methods of observations, one-to-one -one interviews, conducting focus groups, and similar methods. Examples of qualitative data are the smell of a flower, the taste of an ice cream, the color of a rainbow, and the texture of a stone. There are different methods in gathering and collecting data. First is the census. Census involves collecting data about every individual in the population. So this is done by the Philippine Statistics Authority. Second is the sample. Sample is the part of the population to be studied. Third is the written questionnaire. It is a list of questions to be answered by respondents by checking one or more categories or by supplying written responses. Fourth is the interview. Interview where answer is given verbally and the person who asked the questions record the answer. Fifth is the log or a diary. Log or diary is a recorded information at regular interval. It is a regular or systematic record of incidents or observation. Six is the observation. Observation makes use of different human senses in gathering information. And lastly, we have experimentation. Experimentation is usually conducted in laboratories where specimens are subjected to some aspects of control to find out cost and effect relationships. There are different terms to remember in organizing data in frequency distribution table. First is the tally. Tally is a recorded count of scores, points, or votes. Second is the frequency. Frequency is the number of times that something happens during a period of time. Next is the ungrouped data. Ungrouped data is a raw data. It is collected but not sorted into any group or classes. Fourth is the group data. Group data is a data that has been organized into groups from a row data. Fifth is the class interval. 
Class interval is the difference between the lower class limit and the upper class limit. Sixth is the class width or class size. It is the difference between the lower limit or upper limit of two consecutive classes. And number seven, we have the class mark. Class mark is the number in the middle of the class. It is also known as the midpoint of the class interval. It is calculated as the sum of the lower limit and the upper limit in a specific class interval divided by 2. And here are the importance of frequency distribution table. First, it is a chart or table that summarizes values and their frequency. Second, it's useful way of organized data if you have list of number that represent the frequency of a certain outcome in a sample. And here are the steps in organizing frequency distribution table for ungrouped data. First, construct a table with three columns. Second, the first column shows the row data. It is arranged in descending order or from highest to lowest. Third, the second column is the tally. These are the list of marks or a score that are tallied. And lastly, we have the third column. It is the frequency. These are the counts of tally marks. So let's start with an example. Example number one. Sample test scores of 20 students of grade 7 SPM. Now we will construct a frequency distribution table. So first, we must have the three columns. First is the scores. For scores, the possible scores or the given scores are 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Next column for the second column is the tally. Now we will tally the given scores. First, we have... 23. Next is 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 22, 23, 23, 24, 23, 21, 21, 23, 23, 21, 22, 25, 24, and lastly, we have 21. For the third column, for the third column, we have the frequency. So we have here the frequency. For 25, the frequency is 3. For 24, the frequency is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for 23, we have 5 and 1, we have 6. For 22, we have 2. And for 21, we have 4. A total of 20. Let us now answer the following questions. First, how many outcome choices are there? Very good. We have 5. We have 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Next is, what is the lowest frequency? Very good. Looking at the frequency column, we have 2. Next, number 3. 
What score has the highest frequency? Very good. We have 23. And lastly, what is the total frequency? Nice. We have 20. For example number 2, we have the number of books each student read per month. So in constructing frequency distribution table, first, we need to have a table with three columns. First column, we have the number of books. The number of books given are 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next column is for the tally. So we have 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 1, 5, 4, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 3, 3, 2, 4, 5, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, and lastly we have 1. Next, for frequency, we have 4, 5, we have 4, 4, 4, we have 5, 4, 3, we have 8, for 2, we have 5, and for 1, we have 3, a total of 25. Let us answer the following question. How many outcome choices are there? Very good, we have 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What number of books has the lowest frequency? Very good. It is 1. Number 3. What is the highest frequency? Correct. It is 8. And lastly, what is the total frequency? Very good. We have 25. Great job, Math Gagaling students. Thank you for watching. See you again to another fun and exciting video for Grade 7 Mathematics Quarter 4.